Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. In this channel, I normally cover tutorials for how you can build your own games in Unity, but in this video, instead of doing it ourselves, let's take some time to look at some great games that showcase the power and versatility of the Unity engine. This is actually the second video, so if your favorites aren't here, then maybe they're in the first one. Alright, so when I launched the previous top 10 video, most of the comments were saying where is Hollow Knight, so here it is. This is one of the biggest platformers of recent years. It's got a look that stands out with an interesting, unique world full of bug-like creatures. And the most important thing of all is it's got some excellent, very tight controls. Whether you fail or succeed is entirely up to you. If you're a fan of platformers, then this is without a doubt one of the best in the genre. The upcoming sequel, Hollow Knight Silk Song, is one of the most anticipated games, and it is currently number 4 on this team's most wanted list. Again, this is an indie game, but it's fighting toe to toe with some of the biggest AAA titles and succeeding. That's very inspiring. For something hyper realistic, you've got Escape from Tarkov. Another game that people are surprised to hear that it's made with Unity. This is a gorgeous looking hardcore survival multiplayer shooter. You go on raids, loot items and try to survive. If you're into some high stakes PvP, then this is just for you. It came out in closed beta quite a while ago and it's been very successful on Twitch since then. It is still in that closed beta and in development with constant updates and it is also currently not available on Steam. So all this time they've been selling the game directly on their website. So it's an excellent example of how with a really solid game you can still find success without Steam. It's obviously extremely difficult, but it can be done. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button. It's a tiny thing, but it really does help. Thanks. Next up, we've got Super Hot. You can describe this game in one sentence and it's immediately appealing. Time only moves when you move. That's it, that's a very appealing concept. Combine that with the visuals that send out right away and you have yet another indie mega hit. This one actually started off life as a game jam game, so that's some excellent inspiration for you to take your own game jam games and see if maybe you can flesh them out into a complete game. Game jams are usually great for coming up with some very unique concepts, so if you do manage to come up with something really interesting then it might be worth it to push it forward. Also, for this game, you have not just the normal desktop version, but also a VR version. It is without a doubt one of the best VR games that you can buy. If you are still skeptical about VR, then all you need to do is play Super Hot VR, and the second that you dodge a bullet like in the Matrix, you will become a believer. Punching enemies, slicing bolts in half, and throwing bottles are such simple actions, but so very satisfying. If you have VR headset, then you definitely need to try it. Before we see the rest of this list, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on just about any topic. Explore new skills and improve your current ones at your own pace with unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes for every skill level. Learn skills related to game development, like the basics of computer science. Then learn modeling in Blender by making your very first 3D character. And then learn the basics of animation with all the important principles of squash and stretch, timing and so on. Being a subscription means you don't have to buy each class individually. So for less than $10 a month with the annual subscription, you have full access to all the classes you could possibly want. With so many classes available, you can learn skills related to game development, but also improve on any hobbies you have. For example, learn how to play the guitar, learn electronics with a Arduino and a Raspberry Pi, or learn how to be more productive in life. Join now with the link in the description, and for a limited time, the first 1000 people will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Thanks to Skillshare for supporting the video and supporting the channel. Then here's the game that seemed to surprise everyone with how good it is, Genshin Impact. A lot of people were surprised with how this game that features such a massive open world is being made with Yinti. It is also an interesting game in that the initial reception when it was first revealed in a trailer, that reception was somewhat negative with people saying it borrowed too much from Breath of the Wild to the point that it looked like a clone. However, as soon as it came out, it silenced all of those criticisms that assumed the game was just an uninspired clone. Instead, what it is, is definitely a game that takes great inspirations from other awesome games like Breath of the Wild, but it uses those mechanics as a jumping off point and expands upon them in different ways. The end result is a great game that has been very well received on both consoles, PC and mobile. It's very tricky to get all of those platforms right, but they did do it. It is also a free-to-play game, which usually comes with a negative stigma, but in this case people seem to find the monetization very well implemented. Then if you're the kind of person who loves boss fights, then you need to play Fury. It's a boss rush game, just boss fight after boss fight. Every battle is unique and every boss has lots of different stages for you to learn and finally defeat. Features very tight controls and very satisfying combat mechanics. Timing is definitely key, you must learn the patterns, dodge incoming attacks and counter at the perfect time. Also features an interesting unique story in a mysterious world with some very good voice acting and an excellent soundtrack. 
Next up, here is another huge recent mega hit, Among Us. It's a deception game, you play with others and one person is the imposter. You must do a bunch of tasks and either identify the imposter or if it's you, then you need to eliminate everyone else. It makes for some really interesting social gameplay and part of the fun is just talking to others and convincing them that you're not the imposter. In the previous video like this one, I highlighted the Untitled Goose Game. That's a game that found massive success in terms of marketing. And Among Us is another example of how success can happen nowadays. The game actually came out all the way back in 2018. It was doing alright, but nothing too special. Then in 2020, it started getting picked up by some YouTubers and getting really popular on Twitch, and all of a sudden the game took over the world. Also, the developers are very smart. When the game started blowing up, they immediately cancelled plans for a separate sequel that they were already working on, and instead focused all their efforts to continually update this game and keep the momentum going. Finding success as an indie developer is very difficult, so if you do manage to find it, then make sure you grab it as hard as you can and don't let go. For something that looks very inviting, here is Hitman Go. It's a Hitman game where you play on a series of gorgeous looking dioramas. It takes the Hitman formula you know and love and scales it down into a simple but effective turn-based puzzle game. So you still have disguises, distractions, sniper rifles and even the iconic silver ballers. Lots of enemy types with unique behaviors and different ways for completing each level, either silently or with force. It's a great example of how you can take something and give it a twist to come up with something that is simultaneously familiar and still it feels fresh. Then a game made by a massive studio that decided to use Unity for a side project, here is Gwent. It's made by CD Projekt Red, the makers of The Witcher and Cyberpunk. It's a really awesome card game, it first showed up as a mini game inside The Witcher 3, and people loved it so much that they expanded upon it and made a standalone version. You draw cards with various units and place them on separate positions on the battlefield, I've never actually played the standalone version, but it was always one of the best things that I loved in The Witcher 3. I really like the design of the game, even though usually I'm not into card games. It's free to play and has received tons of updates since it first came out 4 years ago. It's available on both PC and mobile. Then if you want to see something that pushes Unity to its limits in terms of complexity, then check out Kerbal Space Program. It's a simulation game where your main goal is to build a spaceship that can actually fly. They use proper realistic physics, so not only is it fun to play, but it's also educational. And all of those serious simulation mechanics are combined with some very silly characters, so the vibe of the game is really enjoyable. You build spaceships, rockets and vehicles with tons of parts at your disposal, each with their own function that will affect the way your spacecraft behaves. Construct space stations, massive starships and bases on new planets. It's a sandbox where you can spend hundreds of hours just tinkering with your creations. Originally came out in 2015 and it's got tons and tons of updates since then, the last one was 3 months ago. There's currently a sequel in development, it's also using Unity and promises to expand upon it in every way possible. For something that suddenly became very popular thanks to recent events, here is Plague Inc. It's a strategy game where you create a pathogen and attempt to take over the world. You choose from multiple types like viruses, bacteria, parasites and more. Each of them has their pros and cons to suit your preferred playstyle. As you expand, you gain skill points to spend in mutations that have all kinds of effects. It's a very unique concept and very well executed. And because of those recent world events, they made a free DLC that flips the game on its head. It's named The Cure, and just like the name implies, your goal is to eliminate the virus and heal the world. If you're into turn-based tactical games like XCOM, then Phoenix Point is a great new entry in the genre and it's made with Unity. You fight tactical battles on procedurally generated maps against a foe that adapts to your tactics. Manage diplomacy and economy on a global scale. You must research, explore and overcome your obstacles in order to succeed. It's from the studio formed by the creator of the original XCOM games. It's a pretty complex game, manage your action points carefully, target the correct body parts and bring your soldiers back alive. Victory is not easy, but it is satisfying. Alright, so there you have it, 11 more super awesome games that showcase the power of the Unity engine. You can really build anything that you can think of. You can build small focused games like Hitman Go, or massive worlds like Genshin Impact. You can make games with simple visuals like Superhot, or you can go hyper realistic like Escape from Tarkov. So I hope these games serve to inspire you in your own game development journey. The only limit is your own skills and your own imagination. If you want to pick up any of these games, there's some links in the description. Those are affiliate links, so if you use them, it's the same price to you and you'll also be supporting the channel. Alright, so let me know in the comments any others I should highlight. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.